Let me see if I can explain this concept for every American people who wants to move into Puerto Rico. We don't really have a problem of racism like you guys with everybody in your country, okay? We don't mind nobody, even from Jamaica, from China, from Spain, Europe, UK, America, Canadian, moving to the island. The problem comes when you believe that we even share Let's go ahead any society thoughts the same way you know, as you know it, since you grew up in your own country. African American combo talk about these African, -Amer African immigrants or Caribbean immigrants and people from around the damn planet, y'all. Damn. Y'all, one thing y'all not fixing to do is put the damn blood pressure up with all these, with the crazy, because this shit, it is so interesting. And it's just hard to believe in 2022, we're almost in 2023, it is October the 1st, baby. And the crazy is just getting even more crazier. So, I don't like my face because I gotta get ready for work, and these conversations gonna make me put some, some look in my damn latte, shit. So. You mean to tell me, all right, let's get into this. You keep, y'all come here, immigrate here. A lot of y'all been here for long enough now to see how shit works in the United States when it comes down to phenotypes, gene types, you know, racial discrimination and biases and stuff from hairstyles, from cultural appropriation, all of that shit, it all ties in together some kind of way. The problem is, is when you decide that hey i'm not i'm not black i'm actually you know indigenous or i'm i have black in me but i'm more of another race then you go into you know your heritage you even have genealogists who are black who are playing into romanticizing something that clearly is not a romance let's not get started with george washington and Sally Hemings and all that because they, they romanticize everything. You romanticize Bridgerton because you fantasize about your oppressor. And that's fine if that's what you want to do. But what you're not going to do is continue with the erasure of black American people who have been here from the beginning and have endured the hell of everything. Not to mention the Breonna Taylor, the, the George Floyd to bring you current on shit that has happened and shit that still keep on happening in this country that is erasure of the skin color just black you know in it black dna african dna and even though some of y'all be on the right path of talking about things correctly what you mess up with with me is that you'll sit there and brag about everything your cultural traditions down in colombia and then y'all immigrated to the coastals of brazil somewhere where y'all hid and held on to your native traditions that only talk about the Central American Colombian side of the story. You don't trace your damn roots back from the slave ships and talk about the tribes that you originally came from in Africa and what those, how those traditions compare to your traditions that you have added to enrich your culture. You only want to talk about the indigenous part. You don't want to talk about that African part, that indigenous African part of your DNA. And that's where the erasure comes in because, yeah, you're acknowledging that you have African DNA, but you don't get into the details. And the devil is always in the details when it comes down to it because it's not a love story at the end of the day. These, these Africans literally were on the move for their lives from being enslaved and all these things and these horrific things. And so when you're romanticizing and, oh my God, my baby's two-thirds, you know, Tahino from Puerto Rico and, you know, the Tahino is just, it's different from the Africans. So you mean to tell me that damn slave ship bypassed Puerto Rico? You want to sit here and get mad that the colonizers are coming to your island now. Y'all been knocking at the door forever saying, I'm white, I'm white. And then when white shows up, oh, we don't need y'all, you know, trying to impose y'all's laws and ways on us. Well, bitch, you've been on here telling every other video that you're not black, that you're white and you love white and your skin. So then when, when the colonizers come to your door and come buying up all your land and shit and start calling the cops on you because you got your shirt off, then you want to get in here and say, well, I don't have it. You know what y'all do in the United States? It's not like our country, bitch. Can y'all put some damn brandy or something in this drink? Because I, I can't do this with y'all. I seriously cannot. Because <coughs> meanwhile, at the end of the day, <coughs> colonization has infected every part of our planet in some form or fashion. And somehow, all of a sudden, it's a thing to disassociate yourself with African-American people. Because you have this notion that's been taught to you from wherever the hell you came from, from watching too much of Hollywood, which is fake, that 
African people are lazy. African people are, um, they don't work. They just laying up on the government and collecting a fat ass check, eating lobster and shrimp and living like kings, traveling and all this bullshit that y'all just creating your damn minds before you arrive here. Or some of y'all are here just creating the shit because you like to stir up a mess. Not realizing that these are generations and generations of people who have been fighting from the time that they was drugged all the way over here from Africa and had their whole identity erased from them. What the hell else do you need to know? And then you act so brand new as if it didn't happen in your country. And we already didn't know the damn gen. You ain't took no black history, no anthropology, no nothing. You just going to sit here and create a whole delusion in your damn mind and then come over here and sit your ass in a black area around black people and start with your mess. You just being messy. Because you ain't going to, one thing I'm going to tell y'all something, one thing you ain't going to never do is you can lie all you want to and you can lay up with whoever the hell you want to lay up with and breed and, and, inter, and interracially mix their hair to you to get goddamn near have a plum white child with blue hair and green eyes. But guess what? Them doulas and them black women going to tell you. She got some black in her. That is not a white girl. Carol Channing, bitch. Don't play. That's what you're not going to do because we know our people. You don't think that this is some phenomena that it's the erasure of colonialism like you just it's in your mind that oh it's something bad to be dark skinned it's something bad you, you, we wonder why go down there and ask them Africans in South Africa what the hell is going on you ain't never heard of Mandela before you come to the United States have you ever heard of Martin Luther King you can just start there it don't change anything just because you are mixing your, your making the choice to, to mix yourself in with other races of people. You can do whatever the fuck you want to. We don't care. Because guess what? The call is coming from within the house. We've already been dealing with that within our own black community. Erasure of your dark phenotype, your, your melanin. And when you're doing these kind of things and making these little videos that you know, I'm I'm two thirds uh, Native American, you know, and I know the tribe, so I'm not African. Really, bitch. You finna tell an African American person, and try to convince us. Everybody remember Tiger Woods when he did it. I just want to acknowledge both of my parents. Yeah, okay. We saw your daddy, so. Who are you trying to argue with about this shit? As if you created, you all brand new. Now, we just had a damn discussion about how African people got to the United States. How did African ancestry end up in all of these islands? So, why are you acting brand new just because your daddy chose to have, have a marriage with a woman of a different race? What difference does that make to us? And how does that free us from the hell that we're already going through as a people of color? Because whether you like it or not, you are a person, you're still a person of color. They can just look at you. They didn't even, we don't, you don't have to say to us that you are whatever. We saw your mama. Black people know. We know that you're biracial. We know that you're, you know, racially ambiguous or whatever the hell. Y'all be coming up creating all kinds of titles and shit. But at the end of the day, when you're having these conversations, be sure and include your African DNA and your African story as well as your Tahino or whatever. Don't erase black culture, which is African heritage, that we had to survive and endure hell while we're still going through it. And then you just and you want to erase all that out your mind as if it don't exist. Because the pressure's already doing that anyway. Look at Jamaica. The queen just died. Y'all just separated y'all self and her. But you're still over there adoring and romanticizing something that wasn't romantic. Period. You love whoever the hell you want to love. But then when you come to the United States or you're visiting or you've been migrated here and you live here, then you want to sit in your ass looking like my cousin or my auntie or somebody and then open up your mouth and say, well, black people are lazy. You know, I'm Jamaican. We work hard. Like, bitch, if it wasn't for the people here fighting for those rights, do you really think your ass would be sitting over here right now? You don't think about that. Who the hell fighting for you for their rights for indigenous people at the end of the day? Hmm? I'm waiting. 
So when black people are working and you see them working right next to you, going on the bus, getting into your cab service, purchasing shit from your stores, and you open up your lips and say black people are lazy and stupid and dumb and all these things, but you're building and making and collecting a check on those very people you hate who look like you, or nine times a ten could be related to your ass some kind of way. You want to get on camera and say that kind of shit about the very people who pay their taxes. So when your kids come up and they don't have a job and they need a little food stamp money, when they need a little extra help from the government, where do you think them tax dollars coming from? You don't see us sitting there right next to you going to work every day? You want to say that my mom and daddy didn't work and never had a job and they just laid up on... My parents want no goddamn food stamps, bitch. They worked hard and I was a child and I saw them. Government assistance wasn't uh, as, as privy as it was back then anyway. They weren't trying to get y'all ass nothing. In the 50s and 40s and 30s and 20s and shit when they was going through what they were going through when you couldn't even drink out a damn water fountain with somebody... Open a damn history book before you open your damn mouth up and insult people and act like you got some sense in your damn head. Because no matter what you say and no matter who you date and what you come create and bring to this world, we're going to love it regardless. We don't care about their skin color and all that stuff. We ain't got time for that. We really don't. What we're trying to find out is about making the connections to the diaspora, which is all the islands. And connecting all these stories together, even though they're very different in some aspects because we've been blending in by force. <laughs> Tell the truth. Dominican Republic, y'all need to stop. Y'all on some, oof. Y'all don't smoke way too much crack for me, bitch. Y'all been some, you, you looking like me, you tell me you white, girl. Stop. And I understand it. I understand why you do it because it's, you know, it's colonization at its finest. And when you come from another country to this country, or you've been sitting there the whole time and you just don't care, you want to infect the world and make it make it different and make it better. But what you're doing is considered erasure. It's erasing off the African DNA and it ain't going to never happen. I don't care how many people of non-African DNA that you align yourself with you can trace your roots all the way back to india and all that and still and sit there and be a genealogist and say well you know technically that we're not black we're from, you know we're asian indian oh okay cousin you sitting there looking like one of my uncles like a damn gopher danger whatever y'all call it i can't say it correctly but doppelganger whatever that is but somehow all of a sudden you don't have any african blood in you we can start with scientists who discovered Lucy, Dean Kanesh. I'll end it with that because this video is going way too long. Dean Kanesh was that, that you know, they unburied this humanoid. Well, tested it and it had African DNA. It was the oldest humanoid dug up out of the ground, fossil, whatever you want to call it. Desecrated somebody's grave and dug it up. And you know what they said when they discovered that this woman was of African uh, descent? They said she was an ape. She was a, a, a monkey. They 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 turned her from a human being into a monkey because the fact that she didn't have any, you know, colonized DNA in her. They called her an ape. The very first thing that came out the ground and the oldest human on the planet. That should tell you something about why it's crazy to sit here and tell and put other cultures and stuff and pit things up against each other based on skin color and then based on cultural differences because you don't think about Africa I've been to Africa three times I was married to an Egyptian person I was dating all over I was a little tramp and I was dating all over the place uh, North Africa I was all on the internet working it out with them and everybody else in between him and everybody girl bye Africa is thousands of languages every skin color you can think of and one thing about them Africans when you ask them about culture and all that bullshit they're gonna be I'm African first bitch they're not gonna be um two-thirds French. Well, French colonized us, and that's how we got our skin color. But anyway, we're African. So why are y'all doing all of this when you go to Africa, which is, is the root all of us ended up over here in the first place? 
and then act as if Africa was some place where people were so uncivilized when you just start with the Egyptian. Go into the museums and look on the damn walls. They look like us. They don't look like the oppressed people, even though they want to tell a story and we write it. Go right there and we write it. When you go to the museum, you're going to have a shock of your life, bitch. I was there. I saw it. We saw some of, you know, the artifacts and things that they had traded with Caesar, you know, back in the day they, you know, traveled and they had canals and irrigation systems and you go in the pyramid. I've been down in there. I couldn't figure the creepy ass shit out, but I would never did go back down in that hole again. I could, I looked, I saw the pyramids and shit. They were humongous. Like, bitch, who did this? You travel two hours outside the desert and you can still see them damn things looking like little diamonds sticking up out the ground. But y'all want to rewrite history and act as if African people and that the diaspora was so, you know, starving to death. Feed these children. They're so hungry. With two cents a day, we'll feed them. Girl, bye. We're not fixing to fall for this shit anymore from y'all. If you don't like your African DNA, I suggest you take a trip to Africa and, and reconnect your mind and understand that you're just as important as anybody else and don't be ashamed of being dark-skinned and having African DNA because there's nothing to be ashamed of. And as intelligent and as smart as African people are, because they were colonized too. They have some fucked up things going on with them. But this is that's for a whole nother video. Okay? So, you know, unfortunately, colonization has hit every corner of the world. And it's up to you to undo those things and acknowledging people as human beings. And no matter what your religion is and whatever your culture, what's in your DNA, if you have African DNA in it, include it and try to discover more about that side. Because it's nice telling about every other Thing about yourself and having a whole Bridget and oh my god you're having a whole Candace Owen you know looking down on all on your own people we've seen this this play out even in our own black community Candace is a, a prime example of that why she opens up her mouth and the shit she spools out it's always negative towards the African-American people so when you come to this country I'm I'm Princess Ariel that's who I am subscribe to my channel please come on over and learn more about these discussions and understand why you're doing this in your head because it ain't making a whole lot of sense to a lot of us black African Americans because you are insulting our ancestors and our family members and stuff like that when you come out your mouth and say that you're not a part of the diaspora you are that's why you look like our relatives no matter what your head what your hair type is we got that in our family too just something for you to marinate on this video is going into 20 minutes so I'm gonna stop here don't post this shit no more stop please Bye.